What is going on guys? Welcome to your fifth UDK tutorial and before we get to the tutorial I want to show you guys this right here. I am moving into a new apartment, my very own apartment, next month so I thought you guys might want to see some pictures. Uh, right now I live in a room and it's like 10 feet by 10 feet and it smells like tuna and beef stew all the time so I figured I might as well get a new place. So here it is for you guys who are interested. I posted some pictures up on my forum and if you guys I live on the third floor right there and if you guys are not a member of my forum I would recommend that if you have any questions about any of these tutorials you can ask me there and I'll be happy to answer them for you but anyways I just had to get that out of the way welcome to your fifth UDK tutorial and in this tutorial we're gonna be talking more about these options right here so we left off with this real time now let's go over this brush wire frame option right here the brush wire frame option displays your 3D models in wireframe. Now, wireframe is basically, well, the easiest way to describe it is just the look of it. It's basically all the edges, all the vertexes. It's basically a blueprint rather than this nice lit mode right here. So that's what brush wireframe is. Now this next option after this is wireframe. Now if you switch on and off, you can only see some subtle differences. And the reason for that is because, well, the differences are subtle. Wireframe and brush wireframe are very similar. They only differ in what they display. Um, for now, I'm not going to be covering that because that's really when we get into 3D modeling and you know working with this stuff over here. But for now, just remember that brush wireframe and wireframe kind of help you display the blueprint rather than you know the models themselves. So with that being said let's hop over to this one right here and this is unlit mode whenever you're in unlit mode this displays your textures and materials but not your lighting whenever you're making levels in 3d models you need to make 3d models and then you need to apply textures and materials to it and you also need to add lights to your word to show what part of your you know castle you want lit up what how you want your lights to display in your 3D world basically. This basically shows everything with a constant light, no shadows or anything like that. So remember, unlit mode, what we're working with right now, just shows textures and materials but no lighting. If we want to show the lighting then we need to hop over to this mode. This is your nice pretty lit mode and check it out. We have bright spots and shadows, pretty much your map with lighting in it. That's why they named it Lit Mode, because it's pretty lighting shadows. It's basically however you see it in Lit Mode is how it would look to the player when they are actually playing your game. Now we can go ahead to, uh, let's go to Detail Lighting, Lighting Only. What these two options are, are basically whenever, like I said before, in order to make a map we need to add lighting. Whenever we want to concentrate on just the lighting and we don't want to worry about any of the textures or materials or anything like that, we can look in one of these modes. These modes allow us to say we want to work with making sure our shadows appear properly. We probably want to work in one of these modes. Again, they're either detail lighting and lighting only mode. This, it's pretty much self-explanatory what these modes are. Show a constant material with lighting only. Now, a lot of these options right here pretty much take a couple tutorials each to cover, like uh, lighting complexity, texture density, shader. We don't even know what textures and shaders are yet, so let's go ahead and skip those. Um, lighting with only texture density. I guess the next thing we can cover is this game mode right here. Now, the game mode I touched on, I think, in the second tutorial, it's basically what you would see if you were playing the game. All of these modes right here, they're kind of like the designer mode, but the game mode takes care of all that wireframe and you know all this little stuff right here. It makes it disappear. Basically, if you were the player playing the game, this is what you would see. Now, this lock viewport mode right here is actually let me see, let me see how much time I got. Since I, you know, had to show you guys those pictures in my apartment first, I'm going to be covering the rest of these buttons in the next tutorial. So, for now, I guess that's all you guys get for now. In the next tutorial, I promise, we're going to be finishing up the viewport toolbar. 
but for now, I'm going to go uh, check out the pictures in my apartment, and I'm probably going to go to McDonald's and get a milkshake. So you watch this tutorial again, and once you have perfected all the different modes, you're ready to move on to my next video. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to sign up for my forum, and I'll see you guys in my next video.